Welcome back. Denver's historic Molly Brown House Museum celebrates women's history this March in recognition of the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage and women's voting rights. And here to tell us more is Andrea Malcolm, the Molly Brown House Museum director. I've got my own sash today, yes. which I'm super excited about. This is nice. It's amazing that we get to talk about this. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is. So talk about first though, the Molly Brown Museum. So the Molly Brown House Museum is on Capitol Hill, just a couple blocks from the State Capitol Building. We are open 12 months a year. Um, so guests can come and learn all about the amazing Margaret Molly Brown, most notable for the Titanic experience, but she accomplished so much more in her lifetime. Tell, yeah, really, that's the thing sometimes we overlook. Talk mm -hmm. about the woman she was. Yes. So she was passionate about different civic and social causes. So making sure that children in Denver were taken care of through playgrounds and orphanages. She was also a huge advocate for labor rights reform. So making sure that the miners had safe working conditions and reasonable pay. And of course, getting women the right to vote. In Colorado, we are fortunate women could vote starting in 1893, but for the rest of the US, uh, many states it took until 1920. Wow. Talk about, too, really why you're focusing on women's history this month. Um, for us, women's history is 12 months a year, but we love March because we can really highlight the amazing accomplishments of Mrs. Brown uh, and then all the other amazing Colorado women that we have, um, from Ellis Meredith to Minnie Reynolds um, to Elizabeth Ensley. We have this vast array of amazing women here in Colorado that should be celebrated. You've got great events to do just that, too. Tell everyone about it. We do. So we have some teas coming up where you can learn about the suffrage movement and just like the suffragists, sit over a nice cup of tea and have some treats and plan how the ne next suffrage rally is going to go. We also have after hours cocktail events where you can learn how the suffragists were also active in some of the um, movements of bicycles and bloomers. So we tell you all about this while you get to have fun in the museum and experience it in a, in a new way. Well, we would be remiss if we didn't at least bring up the Titanic, right? You've got this Titanic dinner. Tell yep. everyone about that. So we do an annual Titanic dinner and we thought this year we should make it special. So we are partnering with the Molly Brown Summer House, which is a home on Wadsworth and Yale that Mr. and Mrs. Brown built themselves. So unlike our museum home on Capitol Hill, they bought or purchased this home. Uh, they built it from the ground up. It's their love in this house. So we're going to have a huge Titanic dinner there on April 10th. And we are welcoming Mrs. Brown's um, great granddaughter, Helen Benzinger, as our special guest this, this evening. So. And there's actually um, an exhibit too, right? Yes. Tell us about that. So our summer exhibit, Fierce Foremothers, will tell you all about the amazing women who are dedicated for generations to ensuring that women today that we have the right to vote. So we'll learn all about Colorado's unique involvement in the national suffrage movement. One of the things I think you do so well too is you offer walking tours. These are so important. Yes, it's great to learn all about the amazing and unique history Denver has and see all the buildings that help us tell that story. So for the summer of 2020, we're going to start a women's history walking tour where we'll see the places where this amazing voting rights history happened here in Denver. There's this part of me that wishes I could have been back in those days just to have seen it evolve. Mm -hmm. But I guess if you can't time travel, which no. we haven't been able to find a way to do yet, you can take part in these festivities mm -hmm. and these wonderful learning experiences mm -hmm. to see exactly how we did get here yes. and how wonderful. And as we said before we came on the air, some things are repeating themselves a little bit even in exactly. our current events. So it's a good way to look at that mm -hmm. as well. And man, you know, look kind of dressed up too, right? Yeah, exactly. You, you got it all down. I you know. did your research to make sure that you <laughs> You got everything here? Yes, yeah, so we like to, as staff, have every, every opportunity to dress in period clothing. So we get to be fierce suffragists this year. Fierce suffragists. I yep. love this. And my little <laughs> sash. I didn't even know how to put it on. That tells you I wasn't a beauty queen or anything. <laughs> but you, I think we look pretty good. I think so. I think this is our color, yes. don't you think? Yeah. I know. I feel very... 19 something or other. <laughs> I know, I love it so much. This is great. Everyone needs to be doing this. We appreciate you coming and telling us about these Thank wonderful things. Us. Let's go over the details because we want to make sure everyone knows about this. Okay, celebrate women's history with Denver's historic Molly Brown Museum, House Museum. Almost got that wrong. Tickets are on sale now for the Titanic dinner and all of the other special events at historicdenver.org.